Hello, I'm Dominic Walker, JMW's Inside Man. My guest is Stephen Taylor Heath. Stephen is a partner at JMW and head of sports law. So, Stephen, um, I've read in the press uh, the reports that Liverpool Football Club are looking for a, a shirt sponsor in the region of £80 million for one year. I know you're a lawyer, so it might be a little bit cheeky me asking this sort of question, but can clubs command that sort of amount of money? Well, as you say, I'm a lawyer, but, but when you're advising on this type of agreement, you have to have a commercial approach to your drafting as well. And, and, and it, in some respects, will be dictated by the rights that go with the shirt sponsorship, because you will want to churn the sponsorship that arises from um, having that status as shirt sponsor. So there's other rights that go with that status as well. There are also consultants out there who make a living out of uh, valuing sports, sports rights, um, particularly in the football sector. And, and, and in, in essence, they will be providing advice to the prospective shirt sponsors and also the club um, with regard to the value based on the exposure that you get on broadcasts and what have you from that particular sponsorship. And I seem to remember a couple of years ago, Liverpool Football Club uh, found themselves in a dispute with, with a sponsor as well. You've a lot of experience at drafting these sorts of agreements. Is that always at the back of your mind, thinking of all these eventualities? Well, that particular dispute related to um, the fact that the club were moving to Nike um, instead of New Balance. And New Balance said that they had um, what's called a last matching rights clause, which means that you can negotiate a new extended contract. And then if somebody else comes in, you can match that and, and you remain in place. The question was whether New Balance could actually match the offer that was on the table from Nike and the question therefore related to the drafting of that particular clause. So there's an example of um, provisions that do need to be looked at carefully when drafting. Um, this was also in sharp focus during the pandemic because obviously games were being played behind closed doors. So if you had a shirt sponsorship, you could see the shirt sponsor, but you weren't able to churn the other rights that go with the, uh, the sponsorship, such as um, um, looking after your guests at the ground. If you were a perimeter advertiser for example you had no spectators in the ground so you have to look at these types of clauses that are fairly prevalent in normal commercial agreements but particularly apply them to sponsorship agreements to make sure that you're covered in 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 the case of particular eventualities that could arise and i mentioned before that you've got a lot of experience at drafting these sorts of agreements i mean it all doesn't always have to be an £80 million uh, deal, does it? But how can you help um, clubs, agents, uh, even players themselves or, or, or sponsors um, to, uh, to draft those sorts of agreements? Well, obviously, if you're going to be a sponsor of something like a football club, it's obviously very appealing and, and you can get swept up in the idea of, of being the sponsor. Um, and so, you, you know, you're, you, you're, you're a guest of the club and what have you, and you obviously think this is going to be a fantastic opportunity. But we as the lawyers have to also look at it um, in the cold light of day with regard to what rights you are looking to get and make sure that the contract reflects the, the, the rights that you're expecting to actually get from the sponsorship. And unfortunately, we also have to look at, as I say, eventualities that could occur. Um, you, you would also want to look, for example, at the length of the sponsorship. Again, um, looking at New Balance, for example, and Nike, you would look at what happens in, in, at the end of the term with regard to you being able to hang on to the sponsorship um, and various other scenarios like that. So we as the lawyers would look at um, the nitty gritty in relation to the contract for you. Stephen, thank you for your insight. And if you'd like to speak to Stephen, you can email insideman at jmw.co.uk or call 0161 82 81 999.